We are going to head to the basketball facility and get a little tour of it. And Brad's going to basically show us his old stomping grounds. You miss it? Yes. I miss it. You miss it too? No. <laughs> you miss it? No. Yeah. <laughs> Here they go. Dennis feels like he has to shake anybody's hand that shakes his dad's hand. That is some good Not in here. I saw the locker room where, let's see. Oh, yep. If you, There's the big head. If you can make first team or drafted or all American, you get them. Awesome. That's so cool. Let me see. There's probably some other people on here I know. Let's see. Over here for sure. Over here. Yep. Al Horford, Joakim Noah, Corey Brewer. Let's go see where my kids are. I'm right here. The guys are practicing right now. This is the current Florida men's basketball team. Brad's gonna talk to the basketball team. Y'all know what this school is all about. So many prestigious alumni that's been here outside of me, and that's why I came here. I have five guards that were ahead of me, all upperclassmen, and I still decided to come here over Duke, Kentucky, Kansas. Don't matter, because you can get down here, right? These are the reasons I came here. It means something. Every time you put on this uniform, you know that there was somebody who came before you that paved this way for you to have this facility, to have the resources you guys have, to be at this school. Outside of being athletics, you're not a resident of Florida. It's hard as to get in this school. Don't take a day for granted. He was here when I was still here. He's probably one of the reasons I left, too. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Come on. Uh oh. In a great way. And he knows that because he prepared my body and prepared me mentally, challenged me, lifting kegs, pushing trucks. I did all that. I did all that. Same stuff y'all looking at Preston like he's crazy. Like, man, what are we doing today? Why are we doing this? Got you throwing up at six in the morning. I know I, we did it all. We just know it's a, it's a pattern. It's no different. But you got to believe in yourself. Trust in him, trust in him, trust in him. Because they've done it. They put guys there. We can't act like we're bigger than the game, that we know more than the coaches. Embrace every moment, embrace every opportunity, bro. Because you guys know not every kid gets this. I only did a year, and I miss it. So imagine some of you guys doing two, three, four years, sometimes five. I'm excited for you guys. It's going to be a hell of a year. As always, people always underwrite us every year, right? It's nothing new. But you all have a great opportunity in front of you, man, to shut everybody up. They lace these joints up just like everybody else. Nobody great. In between these lines, it's the man next to you, your coach, and that's all that matters. If we always like this, nothing's going to happen. Push each other. You push each other in here, that's just a direct reflection of what's gonna happen on the court. Because now you got the trust of your teammate. Now you know you got the teammate back. You know you can compete with him. You know you can go to war with him. You know that because you do it every day in here. Challenge each other in here, it's a direct carryover on the court. Like I always say, my big word is embrace. Embrace, embrace, embrace. Embrace the highs, the lows. Everything will be perfect. Embrace the adversity, embrace the challenges, embrace the winning. Embrace your losing. You need it all in order to grow. That's for sure. That's what makes you guys who you are. That's it. I ain't gonna blabber all day. Love y'all. Thank you, Brad. This boy can never go anywhere without finding a ball. Go, Dusy. Dribble, dribble. Let me see you dribble, Dusy. Let me see you dribble, Bray Bray. Yeah. You want to shoot it? You got to talk to your daddy. I can't lift you up to that rim. Uh oh. There he goes. Shoot it, Bray Bray. Get it in there. Yeah. Good job. What you doing with your hat? <laughs> now it's duty's turn. Their first baskets is Florida Gators. <laughs> So I will say it's super cool being here and getting to see this and see kind of Brad's old stomping grounds. You know, like he said, he only did a year here at Florida, but every chance he gets and we come down here, he is always talking about how much he loved it and how he wishes he did longer than a year and he wants to come back. So his plan is to finish school and get his degree because all four of his brothers all have his degrees. He's the only one that doesn't have one. It's definitely cool being here and seeing like the impact he had on the school and how much love and respect people have for him when he comes back. Little do y'all know, I was almost a Florida Gator, but I'm happy I didn't come here because I don't think I would have wanted to meet my husband in college. I'm happy that I met him once we were done with school and in our adulthood and everything, but it's super cool being here. I really love it. The environment, you can tell that it's a family environment, that everyone loves one another. Everyone looks out for one another. We are going now to see the weight room. Hey guys, look, who's this? He looks 
little. This daddy don't even a baby, huh? <laughs> daddy has a big head. Yeah, his head's still big. Is there some changes since the last time you've been here? Yeah, you just, you just, you just come in, just making changes, huh? Just come, just change the whole damn way around. Things just got like blown out. Don't look at my computer. Just look at the picture. Never seen this picture. Him, like, pass out oh, that's gonna be even better. Let's go get a glimpse of this. Let's go see this picture. He told us to make sure we get this. Look at Brad passed out in a tire. Look at Daddy. He's inside the tire. Every morning, I get to see his name right here. Wait, so what is this, Brad? Get their vitamins, get a little protein shake. Uh oh. Daddy took Deucey's ball? Okay. You got it back now? Oh! <gasps> Get it, Deucey. Get it, Deucey. Good job. Uh-oh. His backup's coming. 